Last episode, we suffered from a bad string of results in the Premier League, but bounced back with a statement win against Liverpool in the EFL Cup. Hey, what's going on? Respect to Jeff here with another episode in this Chelsea career. This time we look to keep up that great run of form that we built on with the big win against Liverpool in the Cup uh, at the end of last episode. Uh, but a big scandal has broken out at Chelsea and for the new event, uh, we have a bunch of bad eggs in the academy that were caught posting offensive videos on social media and we have to release them immediately, which really hurts because we've had some great prospects coming through the academy this season. Uh, the ones who are in the first team are exempt from this, but the remaining three, uh, Wallace, Sinoa, Logo and Neil are all going to be released. Uh, and look at their potentials, guys. These were going to turn out to be great players. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them for the rest of this career. Uh, they'll probably just get kicked out into the free agents now that they're released. But we can't have uh, an attitude like that in the academy. Uh, we stand for more than that as Chelsea. Um, so we're going to have to uh, fill up our academy with some new players here. I've got three scouts out looking for talent. Uh, Ivory Coast, Portugal, as well as England. So we'll see what we can bring back here. Uh, in the meantime, we take on Spurs in the league. And this is a huge match. They're sitting in fifth. Only four points separate us. Uh, so a lot could ride on this game. Uh, we go into it against our rivals, keeping our 5-3-2 intact. Let's get to it. All right, well, Chelsea with a very suspect defense as of late. We're sticking with the 5-3-2. It worked against Liverpool. We held them to a clean sheet, and obviously they have the most deadly attack in England, if not the world at the moment. Uh, if we could do it against them, hopefully we can do it against uh, pretty much anyone else. Uh, we'll see what happens here, though. Um, until we get things stabilized a little bit, I'm going to stick with a more cautious formation. I'd rather win in a boring fashion uh, than go out the way we've been as of late. Timo Werner getting a shot off there. How has that ended up in the back of the net? Maybe took a deflection. Uh, N'Golo Kante opting not to celebrate there but Chelsea take the lead in really bizarre fashion here against Spurs uh, I'm gonna have to look at the replay there to see exactly what happened uh, Lloris just let it run it looked like he definitely could have had it maybe thought it was going out um yeah it's just deflection by the defender there I mean all right we'll take it Chelsea go in front uh Hakim Ziyech looking to make something happen uh hopefully we can go on to grab a second here Conte bundled off the ball by Deli Alley, and he looks to be injured here oh that would suck for us hopefully he gets back up soon winks Carries on possession here, closing down out on the wing. A little nip coming in from Reese James here. And if this game didn't start out bizarre enough, he gets a red for it. Oh, Chelsea go down to 10 men just like that. Look at this replay. There is no way that's a red. I don't know in what world uh, the ref is looking at that. Not only did he get the ball, I don't even know if it was a foul, uh, let alone a yellow card or a red card. So Reese James sent off and Chelsea in a really bad spot now. Early in the game, we are a goal in front, uh, but things not looking great now. And Golo Kante injured as well. He's going to have to carry on. We just don't have the room for a substitution right now. Tavares plays the ball through. Kante lays it off for Zaha. Continuing his run, it's Tavares. This is what he excels at, the left back. Into space, using his attacking prowess. Can he put a cross in? Yes, looks like a good one, but no one's quite in the right position to gather it up here. Ziek looking to come away with it, but Tottenham see that one out. Now Harry Kane getting forwards. Chelsea struggling a little bit uh, with 10 men here. The pressure from Spurs. Forwards now with Lucas Moura. Conte, despite his injury, carrying on defensively and cutting it back. And he drives Moura back. Not bad at all. Top of the box, though. Busquets plays it through and at the near post. Check is beaten. Oh, and Tottenham level things up once again, hopefully not turning the tides here for the game too much, but 23 minutes in, we still have a lot of game left to play. Still a man down here. It's Deli Alli uh, who put the injury onto uh, Golo Kante earlier in the match and ends up getting the goal here. Not a player that I'm a big fan of, obviously being a Chelsea fan. Zaha coming forwards, lovely footwork, beats Matip, oh, shot right at the goalkeeper, and Tottenham playing out from the back in really risky fashion, but Chelsea denied a second here, a couple decent opportunities for us despite being a man down, Mora plays a ball in, headed away, Zuma, we're just dealing with the pressure here, and Golo Kante carrying on in the second half despite his injury, like I said earlier, Ziyech, lovely layoff there for Werner, plays it back, play continuing though, Ziyech waiting for a run, not too many numbers ahead, Werner, good strength to hold his man off, plays it through Ziyech again. And Chelsea just not having a ton of success, finding space here. Declan Rice laid back off. Timo Werner, the center of everything, cutting inside. Lovely footwork and an even better strike. How about that? 2-1. Chelsea take the lead again, uh, completely against the run of play. And Timo Werner made everything happen there, <laughs> just passing it back and forth with Ziyech. Lovely individual skill to beat two men. I think Busquets was afraid to put a foot in there at the edge of the area. Lovely strike into the top corner. And now we just got to maintain our defensive strength here. Ball played through from Bergwang, but it's one back again. Timo Werner getting forwards. 
into space. Got a couple players forwards here. It's played through Ziek. What can he do? Cutting it back in on his left, plays it through. Conte makes a mess of the finish there. Another opportunity generated by Chelsea. Uh, a couple good opportunities here in the second half. Obviously, that Timo Werner goal, uh, the pick of the bunch. But Tottenham working it through, and Mora finds the back of the net again for Tottenham 2-2. And just like that, we are back on level terms. Hopefully not two points dropped for us. Uh, but to be completely realistic here, I don't really see us getting too many more chances the rest of this game here. Uh, just a little lapse in concentration here, maybe defensively. Pulled the man out. That's a good pass, though. And Czech beating at the near post again. Our goalkeepers just have not been up to it recently. Check a little bit of sense of stability in that last game, but um, hasn't quite made up for it. Uh, in this one, Ziek getting forwards now. Not a lot of time left, and it's one back again by Tottenham. Bergwijn, Kane lays it off. Mora looking for a way through. Upamakana sticks a strong foot into that one. And Chelsea, maybe one final chance here. It's laid off. Sabitzer flicked through again. Declan Rice through for Tavares. Can we get one more opportunity? Not a lot of time left. Timo Werner. Looking for the option in the middle, but the whistle blows. No time left for Chelsea. 2-2. Two, two, two points dropped, a red card, and an injury to N'Golo Kante. Uh, not what we would have hoped for against our rivals. Could be a little worse, perhaps, but Chelsea's still just not in top gear. Uh, well, if, if things couldn't get worse, Loftus-Cheek now looking for a loan because he hasn't had that many minutes this season. His morale is incredibly low. Uh, he is requesting that he goes out on a loan in January. And N'Golo Conte now out for four weeks. That means we'll be without him, Havert, and Abraham for the foreseeable future. I mean, through the rest of December into January. And this one hurts, guys. Uh, I guess on the small bright side, <laughs> our scouts have come back so we can start filling the academy up again. A uh, ton of players coming in. It's been a little while since I've checked some of these reports. Uh, uh, we've got some decent players coming in. Um, no one really to note too far or too much yet, but uh, I'll keep you guys informed on who makes the academy and who is starting to look like a good prospect. Uh, in the meantime, though, we really do need to focus on what we do here. I mean, we're approaching January. We could start making some signings. Um, and really, without Abraham, I mean, things are not looking good up top. Uh, we're sticking with the 5-3-2. I mean, Sabitzer is going to get the start here in place of Conte. Uh, Sabitzer has been a pretty good signing so far. Uh, obviously, Chilwell going to start this one. Um, we're going to swap Azpilicueta out onto the wing as James has a red card for this one. Uh, and we'll play someone else in the center of the pitch for now. So we're sticking with the 5-3-2. Hopefully it'll work out for us, even though it's just against Watford. Uh, but we need every single point we can get now. Hopefully it's enough to get the job done. Let's get to the game. All right, well, Chelsea, a lot of draws in our last couple of games, but it is not good enough with the ambitions we have of pushing for the title this season. And as Liverpool continues their outstanding run of form, we continue to drop further and further back in the league. Can this be the game that we start dragging ourselves back to some decent victories? Timo Werner looking to make something happen up top, lays it off. Sabitzer waiting for the run, plays it back. Lovely ball over the top. Werner can't quite get his head on it. That's the kind of move we want Abraham up there for. Someone with a little bit of height on him. Sabitzer playing it through for Ziek. Good ball in. Waiting for a run ahead of him, it's Timo Werner into space. What can he do here? Can't quite get the cross off, it's out! And it is a corner for Chelsea. It's a team that's really gonna have to show what the players are made of here without three of our stars, or really four at this point. Uh, booted away again by Watford, and we continue the press on here. Azpilicueta from distance, no way! Azpilicueta with a boomer out of absolutely nowhere. That's one of the best goals I think I've ever scored in FIFA. Really just hit it and hoped, but what a lovely ball into the corner. Uh, deflected out wide and Azpilicueta, have a go son. Well, how about that for a captain's contribution? Rocket out of nowhere, nothing the goalie could do about that. And Chelsea get in front, look at these replays. Lovely, lovely stuff. Absolute perfect strike uh, from outside the box. Finds its way into the top net, and Chelsea 1-0 over Watford, just like that. Another corner here. Surely not. Thiago Silva going for the bicycle kick. Uh, a little bit of a foul in the process. Uh, how crazy would that have been? Two good goals off of corners like that. Timo Werner now getting forwards, looking to make it even more. Shot from distance, and it's just deflected. Back to Ben Foster in goal. The cycling GK having some trouble <laughs> keeping this Chelsea uh, attack at bay here. Ziek forwards for Timo Werner. It's been all Chelsea so far. Can we capitalize, though? Definitely want a second here as Piliqueta looking to cut it back inside. Not too far off. Coming away with it, though. Pulisic straight at the goalkeeper. And it's seen out again by Watford as we take it into halftime. Ismail Assar finding his way through the back line here. Beginning of the second half. Zuma closing down. We know how deadly Sar can be from our time in the AC Milan career mode this season. Uba Makano just seeing that one out. I think it's offsides anyways. No, uh, it's a free kick against us. Headed away. 
Inside the box now, Chalaba, ex-Chelsea player, poked away by Thiago Silva. Watford dancing around inside the box. We need to deal with this. Still only a one-goal lead. Really uh, nervously dealt with, but we hang on here. Chelsea coming forwards now as Piliqueta, Timo Werner. Waiting for a run, Pulisic. Werner again. Back to Pulisic. Touch inside, and he gets away from him. Pulisic, despite starting a bunch of these last couple of games, uh, coming on as a substitute uh, in others, just hasn't quite lived up to it. Uh, really hasn't done anything as of late. Pusetto now. Oh, in for Watford. I thought that was in. Great chance there. It is closed down by Upa Meccano. Uh, Watford still yet to get any shot on target here. Uh, somehow, Serginho Dest has made it in as Watford's right back. Uh, transfer from Barcelona, I suppose. Uh, not sure how he's pulled that one off. Capu plays it through. Pusetto. This time he does finish, and the Chelsea backline leaks again. And after a brilliant start to the game, we are back on level terms once again. Horrible, horrible stuff from the Chelsea defense. And despite going to the back five, somehow the man is still not marked there. That's poor. Well, the team is struggling. We need to shake something up here. Flavio Barbosa, uh, the player that we signed earlier from the academy, is coming on. Uh, this will be his official debut. 16 years of age, center forward. Uh, he's tall. He's strong. He's fast. Uh, definitely has a little bit to work on if he wants to be a well-rounded player like we know he can but all the potential in the world let's see if he can get the job done here against Watford first touches of the ball Flavio Barbosa quick feet finds Sabitzer working it around here Timo Werner plays it through Barbosa edge of the area looking to make something happen here blocked by the defense not a great shot 10 minutes left here and Chelsea have to make something happen here Barbosa getting all the way back and covering sees that one out from Pusetto uh, for a throw in here more players coming on Loftus Cheek and Mason Mount other academy boys uh, can the Chelsea Academy get out here and make a difference for this team one minute remaining uh in normal time here mason mount finds sabitzer given back loftus cheek plays it through barbosa good touch better finish it's a goal chelsea two watford one and 91 minutes into the match and barbosa scores on his debut what a way to introduce yourself to chelsea fc and the future's looking bright for the attack of chelsea if he can maintain this kind of form <laughs> through the rest of his career coming on and making an impact just like that uh it's lovely stuff from all the substitutes actually uh, mason mount loftus cheek getting the assist um and then barbosa on the end to finish it so it's a good tactical change here at the end of the game we see it out 2-1, a lot closer than we would have liked, but we'll take the three points. They count just the same. Well, we're missing a bunch of stars, but we get the job done regardless. Not too bad at all. Flavio Barbosa obviously looked really, really impressive there on his debut, and that is the talk of the town here. Uh, in the post-game interview, Barbosa, man of the match, and they're asking questions about our academy, which is a bit of a sore spot uh, after having to release them thanks to that scandal, but the academy will come good once again. We'll get some good new talents in there, and we move on as a team. All right, well, not bad at all. And as we approach January here, uh, looking at some possible uh, signings to come in and help this squad out, we're going to be without Abraham for the next three months. Uh, so I've got a couple options here that I'm eyeing up. Duvon Zapata obviously scored some great goals against us uh, when we played them in the Champions League. Uh, but I'm not even sure if we need signings. We could play Werner up top, probably a goalkeeper. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think we should sign. Go to respectthejeff.com and click on the Chelsea tab. You can see the team as it stands right now. And I'll wait. You guys can go there and comment uh, or, or if you just want to comment directly on this video let me know who you think we should sign and you can use the website to give you a more informed view of how the team has been doing and what players are informed things like that uh, for the meantime we have a little break in action here uh, we're going to switch to a 4-3-3 rotate the squad a little bit uh, Tavares going to get some minutes Mason Mount obviously and Loftus-Cheek both deserve them uh, Loftus-Cheek probably is still going to want to go out on loan but I'm going to give him minutes uh, just because we're so short on numbers here if he goes out on loan we'll at least need a signing to come in and cover for him <laughs> we take on Fulham up next who have been struggling some hoping a 4-3-3 will get the job done against a team like them and let's get to it all right here we go live from Stamford Bridge Chelsea in search of another win here we still are in second place uh, so despite our stuttering form and not doing as well as I would have liked we are still in really good shape so far this season uh, it's just going to be a matter of if we want to win the league Liverpool are really starting to widen the gap uh, Barbosa gets the start this game after really impressing uh, we'll see if he can do it I, I don't want to uh, rely too much on him uh, as such a young start rather slowly integrate him into the team but while we're so short on numbers uh, we have a lot of players fatigued and against a team like Fulham uh, why not? We'll give him a chance out here. Uh, he has a shot uh, pretty wild from distance, but you can see he's high on confidence here. Reese James winning the ball back. Uh, he's back after his suspension, uh, and he's had an outstanding season here. Uh, that red card really undeserved, so I don't even place any blame on him for that. Barbosa, lovely ball out wide for Timo Werner, playing out on the wing, cutting inside. What can he do here? Timo Werner, lovely flick through. Tavares, great cross, back post. Barbosa gets on it, but it's just uh, kicked out by the center back there. Loftus-Cheek from distance now off the Fulham center back and Chelsea off to a really hot start. 
Kearney recovers the ball though in Fulham, working it around a little bit here, direct ball over the top, finds Kearney again, laid off, Sari plays the ball over the top, Knockhart running onto it, defense looking disorganized here, not many numbers back, and it's in the back of the net! Fulham against the run of play have done the Chelsea back line in again. 1-0, we find ourselves down just like that. Uh, and beaten at the near post again. Our goalkeeper troubles continue. Uh, Petr Cech really has not looked any better than our other two. Really close shot there by Hakim Ziyech. Uh, off the pass from Barbosa is not enough to take Chelsea on level terms again. Knocked down here now. Mason Mount, the latest to go down injured. And Chelsea really struggling uh, to get numbers on the pitch at the moment. Hakim Ziyech plays that ball out wide. Pulisic on the right-hand side, really yet to do anything notable. Pulisic, he's been invisible his last handful of starts here. Going into the second half, uh, Barbosa comes off. Zaha coming on. We need a little more experience up top. Not bad from Barbosa. Uh, it seems a little harsh maybe taking him off at halftime, but um, in a game like this where we're down, uh, we just want, don't want to put too much pressure on our youngster here to perform. Uh, and I think Werner is going to do a better job up top for the time being. Closing down now, it's Chelsea. Ziyech plays the ball out wide for Reese James. Sliding in. Lovely challenge from James. Finds the feet of Werner. He's doing well centrally here. Plays it through Pulisic. Running into space here. Takes a big touch and it's too big. Straight at the hands of Rodak. And again, Pulisic uh, just unable to make anything happen offensively. I mean, really, or defensively. Like I said earlier, he's been pretty much invisible for us. And it's a real shame because we know the potential he has. Uh, but that potential starting to fade away as he uh, gets a little older. Thiago Silva closing down now. Chance goes wide from Fulham. And honestly, Chelsea have been disappointing once again. Fulham looked the better team, if I'm being completely honest here. Robinson putting a ball in now. Silva not taken care of. Zuma getting that last-ditch challenge in there. And again, Fulham with a pretty decent half opportunity there. Loftus-Cheek now coming forwards. Can Chelsea do something here? Loftus-Cheek, good ball out wide with Pulisic. Touchdown defeat. Timo Werner settles. Looking for the ball through. Mason Mount making the run, but he finds Ziyech. Cutting inside. Shot. Oh, and it trickles wide. Ziyech, I thought that was our moment. Drags it on his right foot, though. Definitely his weaker foot. Uh, you wouldn't expect him <laughs> to finish that too many times. Very dominant uh, left-footed player, him. Love this cheek. Does well to win the ball back, and Werner kicks it out wide. Pulisic, come on. Makes something happen here. Cutting inside. Plays it through again. Werner. Oh, and it's wide again. Looked to be on target there. I think it was a save from the goalkeeper. He's celebrating like it was at least. Look at that ball through. I think he just gets, yeah, the fingertip save. Not bad at all. Uh, Ziyech and Pulisic both coming off. They are so tired after running uh, that much. Uh, Sabitzer coming on as well as Hudson Adoy, who has not featured much. Another player like Pulisic, uh, who is looking to make the most of uh, some rare minutes here and show what they can do. Uh, both of them starting to fade in terms of potential, really not uh, having done a good job over the last two seasons. Zaha plays it in now. Sabitzer, Werner. Just working the ball around with not too much to show for it. Sabitzer, great reverse pass inside. Zaha does the job for Chelsea. 93 minutes in and we get to another uh, one point draw here. Well, celebrations for the late equalizer, but still just not good enough. Uh, we do spare ourselves the embarrassment of defeat, uh, but we definitely need to be winning games like this. Uh, so the fans celebrate, but deep down we know uh, that the result is just not as good as it should have been. Sabitzer, lovely pass there. Uh, and he's actually started to really look good here, especially with Conte out. Uh, he'll be looking to take advantage of a couple starts here. So Chelsea 1-1 against Fulham. Uh, we just got to see better from this team, guys. We got some big results coming up soon, and I just don't know what to do. January transfer window is opening up, so we could make some signings. Um, like I said earlier, go check out my website and let me know who you think we should sign. All right, well, another injury here. Fortunately, it's only five days this time, but Mason Mount is out, meaning we'll have five players or four maybe uh, out injured for that next one. Loftus-Cheek has gotten a loan offer in from Liverpool. The absolute balls on these guys uh, gunning for the title against us and looking to loan our player. I don't think it's realistic uh, that he would get any minutes at them ahead of us, so I think Inter Milan sounds like a better deal here. Uh, I don't want a two-year deal. I want him back as soon as possible uh, just so he can uh, get some minutes while we're um, not necessarily guaranteeing him a Start. So he goes out on loan uh, for a short-term loan. He'll be out the rest of the season, loft his cheek, and he'll come back uh, hopefully in fighting shape for a first-team spot uh, coming into next season. So Chelsea sitting in second. We'll need to figure something out here with loft his cheek. Uh, when Conte gets back, we'll have decent numbers at center mid, but uh, I think we'll need a little bit of a depth signing here. Um, so like I've been saying, let me know who you guys think we should sign down in the comments. Uh, that'll come next episode that we take on Wolves here at the end of December, uh, and that will come next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back soon with next episode. But until then, I'm Respect to Jeff, and I'll see you next time.